Hello everyone, thanks for joining the webinar. Quick introduction, so I'm Mark Collins from Net Protocol. I'm the technical lead for the Forcepoint Next Gen Firewall Managed Service. And um, what I want to do, really, with these this webinar and these series of webinars, is to introduce to you the, the idea of the Next Gen Firewall. And that is, you know what a normal firewall is, and what, what a normal firewall's job is to stop the nasties from getting in and secure your border. Well, the next gen firewall has a number of other features and benefits for connectivity, VPN, bandwidth management, much, much more than a vanilla firewall. That's what we want to try and achieve with this webinar and the future webinars. Now to do this, some of the concepts are just easier explained visually. Um, rather than sort of just death by PowerPoint. So what I'd like to do is take you through a few ideas and a few, a few diagrams as to how each um, function works. So we're going to start with the multi-link connectivity. So the idea being is that we can keep your network online for as long as possible using whatever links you have and also manage those links effectively. So what we will do is we will um, get started. So like I said, we're going to do this visually. So I wanted to draw some pretty pictures. So we'll start off. Um, most people have a firewall. Okay, so we know this. Um, and most people have one link to the internet. That's the internet, big fluffy cloud. And that's fine, and that's how people work, and that's and you know that's how a majority of sites are. Now then, if you wanted a second link, a failover link, to have in case something should happen to that original link, we can do that. Most firewalls can do that. You can have another internet connection off that firewall. However, most firewalls are hamstrung because of basic networking and, and, and how it works and that is this firewall this example firewall here will have I'm sorry terrible writing, a, a default gateway now again I'm not just this, this isn't a low level technical explanation this is going to be quite high level but essentially what it means is this, this firewall uses this for its internet and that's it there's certain other scenarios where you could use the link but essentially you have a you have one route out to the internet and then the second link can come into play in case if there's a problem with the first link. So there's some automatic failover that can happen, but it's generally a manual process. So say, for example, this line goes down, okay, and then we jump on the firewall, we change the settings, and then it goes out of this link. Okay, so there's, there's a manual process there. And also, majority of the time, we're only using one of our links. So there's a whole other link there that isn't being used. Okay, so that is the conventional firewall setup. So, this is how we would see uh, a next gen doing a seamless kind of thing. So, here we have our next gen. Okay. Then, what we have is we have our two links. Oh, that's a wobbly one to the internet, one link, two link, okay, those clouds are getting progressively more rubbish, but you get the idea. Now what we can do with the next gen is we can use both of these lines in tandem at the same time for whatever we want. Both of those lines are active. We can choose at a lower level which one to use but at this moment in time just bear in mind that in, in the original um, diagram a second ago you were using one line next gen you can use both of these internet connections at the same time which means if you're paying for two services you're getting to use two services so you're not just waiting for the failover to make that justification and bang that second line you've got that continuously now if there is a problem and if that line does go down, then it just keeps on using this line for all the traffic, and you have no disruption of service. 
in fact, where we roll this out, we also have to send an email alert to the client to tell them that line's gone down because they're usually totally unaware because service just resumes. There's no breaking service whatsoever. We have to set, set up an alert to say that line's actually gone down and someone's going to have to look at it. We have to go and restart the router or whatever because there's a problem. So, the next gen allows us to use two internet connections simultaneously and if one should go down, has failover. Okay. So, let's... I don't know why it's been a bit of a pain. There we go. Okay. So, take that a step further. We have the next gen. Um, and we have our two links going in. Okay. To our internet clouds. Say you run voice over IP. So your telephone system is IP based and it goes out to the internet. Um, and you have web traffic, uh, well, general traffic. Um, any disruption on that line or any saturation of, the, of, of, of any of those lines will, will impact the voice traffic dramatically. So in this instance, and again with the next one, what you can do is you can say, well, I, I want control over these lines. I have these two lines using the same appliance using the same hardware, so you don't have to have any of the breakout boxes, it's all in the same box. I want my voice traffic to leave using this connection, and I want everything else, the web and the email, the, the big chunky traffic that can cause congestion to go out of this. So, VoIP out of there. Oh dear me, that's not working too well. You get, you get the idea. Um, and web out of that link. So you've got total control over the traffic, where it goes, um, and it means that the, 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 the business critical communications are solid. And again, the same thing will happen. If this line goes down, then voice will move over to here. I mean, yes, you're going to be sharing that other line with the, the, the chunkier traffic, but it's less downtime. It's an automatic failover. Okay. So we'll move on to the next, the next bonus of uh, the multi-link technology, and that is again another potential cost saving. So what we have here is we have the next gen firewall, then we have our let's see we have multiple links to the internet. Okay, let's see each one of these lines is I don't know, um, just a nice cheap and cheerful. ADSL connection, okay, and depending on the time of day, um, whatever down, you know, whatever your um, downward speed is of that connection. So, imagine you have a number of cheap and cheerful connections, okay. So what this is doing is the, the multi-link because it uses all of those links at the same time you have the equivalent of all of those links combined. So say for example, you have all of those ADSL connections being used at once, so you're actually getting the value of, for example, if you were getting 20 meg on each, uh, 20 megabit downloadable on each of those lines, that all adds up, that adds up to 80. This is just one example, but, it just goes to show that you can look at your estate, you can look at your connectivity and say, do I need that that large internet connection that's costing me X amount when I could probably get a few smaller ones, have failover, have the ability for one to go down and the other one keep working and still reduce cost. So that's multi-link in a nutshell. Really, we've got the fact that it can use more than one internet connection at the same time, failover. It can use those lines and it can choose what traffic you want to go out of what line so you can have mission critical traffic going out of steady lines and you can also reduce your cost by having smaller amounts uh, uh sorry 
uh, large amounts of small lines that are inexpensive being used at the same time so that you can reduce the cost on the bigger the bigger lines that you have already installed so uh, that's my pretty pictures over and done with um oops, sorry get rid of that so there we go um now we run this net protocol runs this as a as a managed service so everything that you've just seen if you were to uh, use one of these firewalls from us you wouldn't have to configure any of that or about any of the training or the, or the setup that would be done on day one and we would obviously advise how best to use the links to your advantage so if you want to contact us for more information on that managed service um also we have case studies where we've done this previously so you can see how that's that's been rolled out my details are there if you have any questions please let me know and thank you all very much for watching goodbye